Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, appreciate you joining me. Uh, this week, I'm going to be cutting all the parts required to make my own trusses. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can go buy your trusses or whatever, but uh, I've chosen to save a little bit of money, build my own. You can uh, look online and get designed trusses. Uh, specific for your area with snow loads and wind loads and everything to make sure you're building a good solid truss. Um, I'm saving uh, almost 50%, not quite, uh, on the cost of the trusses, although it does take more time. Now, I have some help coming over again today to kind of help cut all the different pieces, but uh, I'll kind of show you here the way I set them up and uh, how, I, how I do the trusses anyway. Okay, I went the other day and picked up all the lumber needed to make the trusses. And actually, there's the material for the purlins also here. Um, I've been trying to keep them ratcheted down and covered with the tarp to keep them from warping. Because uh, that's always a problem with the lumber when it's in the heat of the summer. So uh, anyway, there's the lumber. And then what I've done is I set some... Uh, I had some extra pieces of Advantech left over. And I used those with some two by fours underneath to give myself a little platform to work off of. And with the rain, it's kind of washed a lot of the lines off, but uh, I snapped lines where the members need to be. I know that's really hard to see. And then all the blocks of wood are to hold the different pieces where they belong, kind of like a jig. So I'll cut each piece, lay it out, Usually like the first few are the hardest because you're adjusting each piece. But once you get one made, then you just make a bunch of every, every one. So there are, uh, let me see, 15 trusses plus two end trusses that are a little bit shorter. So uh, like here's an example. I cut a few pieces of wood last night. This is one, this would be for the bottom cord. So uh, it's got the cut for the bottom. And then I cut to exactly, uh, let's see, 10 feet, nice and square here. Uh, you can do an angled cut to help with the joining, but uh, most of the design I saw just had end to end, and then you use uh, like a plywood with glue and lots of nails to hold those together. But um, I decided to go with a 14 footer and a 10 footer to give me my 24 feet that way the seam is not dead center and i can reverse each truss as i put them up to kind of keep them apart that way so anyway uh we'll get cut in here today and see what we can get done weather wise it's not too bad it's really humid but it's considerably cooler than it has been so maybe it won't be too bad of a day today I've got quite a few of these 14 footers to work for the purlins, so I'm trying to be a little more particular. Uh, these long bottom cord I want nice and straight and preferably not twisted, so I'm just using the best ones for the trusses, especially that bottom cord. Uh, then some of them get cut up into shorter pieces, I'll use those twisted ones on that.
Okay, uh, once I cut one and the cut is good and the length is good and I went ahead and tried it down there, there's my 10 footer. I had my 14 footer there and everything seemed to match good. Then I'll go ahead and mark this one as my template and I will trace the lines off onto all the other boards. That way they are all close to the same. It's humid out here. My glasses are steaming up. I can't hardly see. through and doing all the the middle diagonals cutting all of them we have all the top cords stacked over here and all the bottom cords over there so now we have the long diagonals in the middle and then the short ones to do and we'll have all the wood cut Okay, we are almost finished cutting all the pieces. We laid everything in the jig to fit the first one and it all fits really good. We're happy with it. So uh, all we have left now is to cut a bunch of that center cord there uh, and then we will be ready. Oh, then we got to cut the plywood. Then we'll be ready to start putting we trusses to, together. We have to sand it and plane it and put a coat of poly on it. Or we'll just throw some plywood on it and call it good. I think that I think I'm going to do that. Now we have lots of plywood to cut.
right there. One on each side glued and nailed in. Now we have lots of other joints to cut them for. That'll work good. Well, everybody, I think that about wraps it up for the week. While we don't have a lot to show for it, we did uh, get a design for the trusses set, uh, build a jig to build them on. We went and got all the lumber and the plywood and we cut, ended up being, uh, in order to make 15 of the trusses, it takes 135 pieces of two by four, cut with miters and such on the ends, and 270 pieces of plywood cut to size. So it was a lot of work, but at the end, all we have to show for it is a bunch of piles of wood. So uh, next week, we'll get into building the trusses and such, but um, been pretty busy week, even though we don't have a lot to show for it. There's that with all my other chores and everything going on around here. So it, it kept us busy. So anyway, till next week, I hope y'all have a good one. And I hope to see y'all down the trail. Yeah.